People think for a bikini, you've got to be some kind of little princess, but I've got more accessories for powerlifting than I do for bikini. Shoes, sleeves, wraps, wrist wraps, belt, socks, singlet, bougie. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm gonna take you through a full lower body workout. If you're not interested in the entire workout and you just wanna see what the products are and how they work, make sure you check out the timestamps in the description below. All right, so starting out to warm up, I'm using the Bells of Steel glute loop um, to do some glute bridges. I've got three to four sets of 15 to 20 of these. I try to get a slight pause at the top to really help activate my glutes. Uh, I absolutely love the Bells of Steel Glute Loop. I use it for pretty much every lower body workout. Um, sometimes upper body too, but almost every lower body warm up if I don't use it during my actual working sets as well but it's awesome, it's super comfortable. The uh, elastic on the inside helps keep it in place, but it's, it's comfy, it's not pulling your hair, and if it does, you flip it. You know, it's versatile, it's great. All right, moving on to side step outs. So on these, I'm gonna take a step out, squat down. I like to add a plate. Um, I definitely worked up to that. I didn't start with the plate because well, the glutes were weak sauce, but <laughs> again using the Bells of Steel glute loop, um, used it for pretty much every warm up exercise in this workout. Um, these I did, what, 20 reps for three or four sets. Um, typically I try to go for four, but I was super sore <laughs> during this workout, so I may have only done three sets, but uh, that'll get you fired up. workout powered by the musical soul that is Chris Stapleton. You're welcome. All right, about to hit some squats on the Bells of Steel Brute Rack 2.1. Uh, this is a super solid rack. Right now it's the um, heaviest one that Bells of Steel has got. We've got some new stuff in the works, so stay tuned for that. Um, but this one is 2.3 by 2.3, uh, 11 gauge steel black powder coat. It's just a sick looking rack. The plate holders in the back are great. Save a lot of space. Everything is right where you need it to be. Nice and organized. All right, I am working my way up to three sets of three reps on safety squat bar squats using the Bells of Steel SS3, one of my favorite bars. My lower body was super sore, so um, my plan five by three turned into Three by three. That's okay. You gotta listen to your body. So the weight of this bar is 44 pounds, um, 20 kilograms. It will fit into a rack up to 47 inches and the max capacity for the SS3 is 1,500 pounds. So uh, it'll, it'll get you where you're going. I was so sore, I did a decently heavy upper or lower body workout a couple days before this, and uh, these squats felt rough. So three by three was a good choice. You know? still, st still got up and stayed moving, but five by three was not in the cards for this workout. This 
so I usually wear my only shoes when I squat. My ankle mobility is not great. Is it something I should work on? Definitely. Is it something that I work on? Not so much. But squat shoes take care of it. Um, slap the bandaid on it. Um, SS3 feels really good to me. I almost prefer the safety squat bar over a straight bar. Um, it gives me more of a feel of a front squat without feeling like I'm being choked out in a front squat. So it's <laughs> it's great. It really is one of my favorite bars. And those are also my favorite handles. Um, I think chain handles that come with it are my second favorite. I don't use the spider handles very often, but uh, these OG handles are on my top. All right, moving on to some RDLs with the open trap bar. Another awesome Bells of Steel bar, very versatile. Um, I start by warming up, no weight, just to kind of connect with the hamstrings, try to get the uh, mind-muscle connection going. And that uh, deadlift jack is awesome, especially when your lower back is on fire. So, you know, less bending, less pulling, it's great. The less work I have to do, <laughs> racking and unracking my weights, the better. It has nothing to do with progressive overload. It's all about the plates. The open trap bar weighs in at 47 pounds or 21 kilograms and has a max capacity of 700 pounds. Um, the sleeves on this bar are a little shorter, um, so if you've got bumper plates that are thicker, they're going to take up a lot more space on the, on the bar. All right, on to open trap bar lunges, because everyone loves lunges, don't you think? Um, I like to add a little bit of weight, but on these, I like to, um, I'm gonna do stationary for this one, but I like to put the open side in the back, obviously, so I have room to step back. I like to keep my weight on my front foot, so I'm trying to push off of my back foot as little as possible and just propel myself up and forward through that front heel.
have calf raises and abs. But for a lower body. I'm probably gonna do some upper body. <laughs> but I knew lower body would be today. For Monday. I choose SS3 for calf raises. Always put a collar on the bar. <laughs> Too many clumsy moments. <laughs> All right, moving back to the SS3, doing some calf raises. Again, super versatile bar. I can get an entire workout in with this thing if I want to. Um, my calves are still killing me from this. So um, it's definitely a change up from the machine calf raises that I've been doing. But um, with this bar, it's nice. I can either hold onto the handles or if I want a little bit more stability, I can rest the bar on my shoulders, put my hands lightly on the rack. That way I'm not pushing off with my hands, but it's still enough to support me. to finish with abs. I like to save the worst for last. No, um, abs are great. Not my favorite thing to train, but I know that it's gotta be done. I like to use the Bells of Steel Mighty Grip plates on these. Um, the 25s have got awesome handles. They're super easy to hold on to. It makes them so much easier to use for different workouts, whether you wanna do lunges or overhead exercises, hit your shoulders or whatever it might be, they're great. All right, but that's about it for today. Uh, watch the rest of this video and I'll see you guys later. Thanks guys, see you next time. Hey folks, Kayvon here, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you loved that video. Be sure to click on the link in the description if you wanna get those products for your own home gym. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let the game begin.